All right, y'all, so if you have been keeping up with my video, you would have seen my Circa Victory Burger video. And I was actually originally planning to do three restaurants in Circa as a food tour, but I was so impressed with the Victory Burger and I had so much content there that I decided to make three separate videos. And right now, we are at the Vermont Street Experience right here. Look how colorful and vibrant everything is. And uh, right outside of the Circa Hotel, which is right behind me, we have the Project Barbecue, which is an American and Filipino fusion barbecue spot, food truck, right outside within the Circa Hotel. So it looks a little bit different from the Victory Burger. The Victory Burger had nice views of Sportsbook as well, but this one, I'm already getting a, a bit funner vibes out here. So let's go check it out. Apparently this is the Mega Bar, one of the biggest bars in downtown Las Vegas. It's huge, it stretches all the way down there. No shortages of TV, you guys. Right outside, we got the Circa Bar right here. So this is part of the Circa Hotel, but it's outside on the Vermont Street Experience. And this bar is huge, guys. Look at this. Project Barbecue, and our top sellers are our platters, ribs, and garbage bowl. All right, so Project Barbecue, we do mainly coast-to-coast -coast style barbecue. Me being from the islands, doing the lechon style pigs, roasted pigs, all the way to like uh, smoked brisket from Texas to the pulled pork in the Carolinas. Man, he got me when he said lechon because I've been to the Philippines before. I love lechon. So would you say that this is kind of Fusion with uh, Filipino barbecue yes. and American barbecue? Correct. Nice, so fusion, Filipino and American barbecue. That sounds like a treat and I'm very excited. Let's do it, we can't wait to try it out. Street food. Yeah. So this is the pig roaster right here. There's no pig in there right now, but usually there's a pig being roasted right in this window for us to see. So we're in the kitchen right now, it's hot. Can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. So like, right now, like I'm frying chips. I, I, I take um, red bean sliced potatoes, thinly sliced, we deep fry it and then we um, we'll toss it in our secret seasoning. This is the secret seasoning right here. Man, I can't reveal too much. <laughs> And then to build the plate, our garbage bowl. Garbage bowl. Put some coleslaw in the top center. And then we're gonna add some of our homemade chips to the bottom. I'll lay down some chips. I'm gonna put some brisket right on top. Right in the middle. We'll put our pulled pork right on the side of it. And we'll put some of our chicken, grilled chicken. So we got some hibachi style chicken. So you got meat that's made from the East Coast, the Carolinas. Texas and then hibachi style uh, barbecue chicken from the islands. We're gonna dress this up with some barbecue sauce. I got two, two kinds. Um, the Carolina we make in house. Honestly, I love sweet baby rays, so I use sweet baby rays. Nice. After we sauce this, we'll dress this up with cheese sauce. I'm gonna put some bacon bits right on top. And then we'll garnish this with the chives. And then we'll top this with coleslaw. So our, our chip beer and cheese sauce, we actually just made uh, finished the batch right here. It's, um, I use uh, Sierra Nevada Pale L and three, uh, four different cheeses. Pepper Jack, cheddar cheese, mozzarella, and uh, Velveeta. Get all the secrets in here, guys. Thank you. Nice. 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 
Here you got the garbage bowl. Quick story about this. Uh, when we first opened, we never had this in our menu. I told one of my cooks to go get something to eat. He basically put this together, and um, I was like, what is that? That look like garbage. I kind of burned myself out. And then my partner was like, make me one of those. actually look good. So the way I played it up, the way we, you see it now, and it's been on our menu since, and it's, it's, it's our top seller. And it's a hibachi chicken. Yes. And then you got the smoked brisket and the pulled pork. Nice. So you got East, Midwest, West. Um, St. Louis style cut ribs. St. Louis cut yes. pork. Yes. And then um, we have our uh, brisket empanadas. Brisket empanadas. Yes. This is a, this is an homage to um, you know I, I used to work at this Irish pub on New York New York Hotel, and it's kind of the homage to it um, that we used to do over there. All right, guys. So we got our spread right here, all the barbecue items. I'm very excited to try it. So Asian fusion barbecue here, right outside of the Circa on the Vermont experience. So the vibes are nice out here. We're outdoor, nice and airy. Great environment. We're standing right now to eat this, so let's try it out. So let's try the, the ribs first. So these are St. Louis style ribs. Oh wow, it's messy. Cheers. Oh, mine has a chip on it. They're very hot, they're fresh. Ah. Wow. Ooh. I'm gonna have to do that slow motion again, but it fell right off the bone. This is so juicy and fatty. That's a really good sauce too. Mm. Wow, that's super tender. There's a nice thin crust on the outside. Not a huge crust, but nice and crisp. Almost like a chip. Speaking of chips, it is um, topped with a bunch of, of their house chips right here. That's a good pairing. Mm -hmm. Right under the ribs, we have a bed of coleslaw. We'll try that after at the end, but I want to talk more about the St. Louis ribs. Very juicy, very fatty, and the sauce. It's like a slight mesquite sauce. Not too spicy, it's more on the sweet side. What do you think about the sauce? I was going to say it's like kind of almost tangy. Or it's tangy. Just, it just has like a really good flavor. Not sweet, not, not like, it's perfect. It's a really good sauce. Kind of like an islandy taste. And yeah. uh, Rex was telling us that this is like Hawaiian fusion, so solid. It's really good. Can't get over, over how tender it is, it just falls off the bone. These are brisket empanadas. Let's try it out. Try one each. Mmm, whoa. Woo. That sauce is really good too. This is like a gift. This empanada is like a gift. It's like a surprise. It's nice and flaky and um, airy, like an airy pocket in the empanada. On the inside, you get nice fatty brisket with the same type of sweet sauce as the, the ribs. There's a sauce Ooh. here that's really, really good. And that brisket, this is a great, I don't know who made, invented this. I mean, I'm Probably Rex. Rex. Yeah. He's like a creative genius. He's like a mad scientist, <laughs> the way he was explaining all the food items, guys. Yeah, but yeah. I definitely really get like an Asian type taste from the sauce too. It's like nice, tangy, and sweet. Kind of like a Hawaiian sauce. So this aioli sauce on the outside, but it's very creamy. And it paired very well with the brisket right into when you bite into it. It's like a creamy pairing with the brisket that adds to its fattiness. Good. Perfect. 10 out of 10. Works really well. Mm -hmm. Rex, the chef and owner, he recommended us these dishes and he hasn't steered us wrong so far. Yeah. So he's mentioning that it's um, Asian, Filipino, Hawaiian fusion barbecue. I didn't get what he was meaning from before, but now I understand because the sauce on the ribs and the brisket it just has like a kind of like a slight Asian tanginess to it. It's not like that southern barbecue with the mesquiteness and the spiciness. It's more on like the sweetie tangy side, almost like a teriyaki, but not too much, right? Super unique, yeah. It's a unique. It's good. It's a really good sauce. Yeah. Let's grab a fork each and let's try the garbage bowl. By the way, this is located in the downtown of the Vermont. It's really nice here. You have a really nice view while eating so perfect location yeah. yet again so let's try this fresh garbage right here smells like some fresh garbage there's three meats on here let's try the hibachi chicken first the hibachi chicken has a nice cheese on here i see some coleslaw some bacon bits and there are little chips at the bottom so it's kind of like a barbecue carne asada fries mm. wow let me try another piece the hibachi chicken, nice, tender, 
and very buttery. And the brisket, it's like the same type of brisket I was in the empanada. Nice, tender, juicy, kind of has that barbecue, Hawaiian flavor on it. This works. I don't know, like, they put like a tons of ingredients together and it's like executed perfectly. Mm -hmm. Really good. I think this is one of the meats that we haven't tried yet. The pulled pork. So let's try the pulled pork. Wow. If you know me, you know that it's hard to impress me with pulled pork. I usually, not into pork, I think it's a bit dry, but this pulled pork is super juicy. Look at this, nice and shredded. Very juicy. It's not dry at all. Mm. This food is very flavorful. Yeah. Really like, expect flavors if you come here. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a conclusion and a brief overview of everything. If this is your first time here and I, I would recommend to try anything, it'd be this garbage bowl right here, because it has the flavor, three meats, and it has the flavor of Everything that we had so far has a coleslaw. Like Leia said, the ribs, kind of like if you just want protein and the ribs by itself, empanada, a nice snack. But this garbage bowl, like if I just close my eyes and take a big chunk, it gives you that Hawaiian fresh flavor from the coleslaw. You know, that fatty taste of the brisket, the butteriness of the chicken, the sauce. There's like a little aioli sauce, some cheese on top of everything. Just, it's a lot of flavor packed into one bowl. And you get really taste like the wine fusion and the passion that Rex put into the bowl. If I had to recommend one thing, they're all really amazing, let me just say that, but I really like the empanadas. To me, really great. I love regular empanadas, but these have that special twist on them, and that sauce is really good. I really like the ribs, really good. And then I would do this one last, but honestly, they're all ranked really high. They're, they're all great. They're yeah. All great. The prices are actually pretty fair for being in Las Vegas. Nice casual food to grab right on the Fremont Street experience if you're walking around, but I'm trying to find something bad to say about this place, but like I said, I recommended this if you needed something, but this is probably my favorite, the ribs. The ribs are nice and juicy. It really surprised me because, I'm gonna be honest, didn't look too appealing, but tastes very, very good. So DVW score on this place, I'll give a solid this is tough coming from me because I hate giving out perfect scores, but I would say it's a 10 out of 10. Just because the prices aren't bad either. Very fair prices. And another thing that is making me give it a 10 out of 10 is like the vibes, the atmosphere of this place. Really fun place to take your friends, family, because it's right on the Fremont experience. So you can people watch, grab a drink at the circle bar, and the food is just amazing. Uh, and just hearing real Rex talk about the food, he's very passionate about it, and I can really taste like you know, all the passion that he put into these dishes because it's nice fusion, Asian style, and Southern style barbecue. It's a hitter. Yeah, it's really what good. What do you think? I think it's great. I think um, in terms of barbecue, this is definitely, it's unique. It's really good on it. So I feel like if you come here, definitely, we recommend probably these three items. It was recommended to us. So definitely try all these three out. You won't be disappointed. Um, and yeah, and the owner's really nice. Really, really nice guy. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're going to keep going in on this, but Thank you guys for watching. As I said before in the previous video and in this video, my main plan was to do a three restaurant tour of the Circa in all in one video, but each restaurant surprised me and impressed me so much and had so much good food at each restaurant that I'm actually doing a three video series. So check out the other videos, the Victory Burger at the Circa. This is the Project Barbecue at the Circa and we're gonna go to our next spot, which is the East 8 Asian food restaurant. That's gonna be our last stop. So check out that video next to see us try some Asian food at the Circa. But overall, Circa has been great. Maybe at the end of the East A, I'm gonna give a brief overview of the Circa in general. But as of right now, quick overview is uh, the Circa is a great hotel. It's my first time here. It has like an upscale feeling to it. It's 21 and over, so you gotta get carded to go in. It's so funny because I bring my wallet everywhere, but this is the first time I left my wallet at home. I got carded, but you know, they ended up letting me in. But yeah guys, I don't want to be condescending to the downtown hotels, but I would say that the Circa it, in general, like even compared to the Strip Las Vegas hotels, are ranked up there in terms of quality, ambience, and vibes for a hotel and resort casino. So yeah guys, we're gonna go to our next spot, so stay tuned, subscribe, like this video, deuces.